Hi Aquarius, Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, welcome to your daily energy reading. Welcome to your daily energy reading. Let's first look at the energies that are influencing you at this point. What is happening in your energy at this point? Holy Spirit, my angels, my guides, my ancestors. What is happening at this point in Aquarius's energy at this point? Holy Spirit, my angels, my guides, my ancestors. What are the messages for Aquarius? We are starting with the Four of Swords. And then we have the Nine of Swords. Holy Spirit, my angels, my guides, my ancestors. What is happening currently? We have the Tower. What is happening? The Queen of Swords. There is a lot of swords in your energy, Aquarius. This is air sign energy, your energy. And then we have the Page of Pentacles. What is happening in Aquarius' is energy? Holy Spirit, my angels, my guides, my ancestors. We have the Queen of Pentacles. We have the King of Swords. The Ten of Pentacles. I'm already getting an energy of recovery here. And then we have the Ten of Swords. Something could have happened here, Aquarius. You could have felt betrayed in a situation here. Okay, we are starting with this Four of Swords, Nine of Swords. I'm getting an energy of recovery. So you could be recovering from stressful situations here, Aquarius. With this Nine of Swords and the Four of Swords. Something could have happened here. Something ended abruptly here with this Tower energy that I'm picking up here. You could have decided to cut someone out of your life with this Queen of Swords energy that I see here. We also have the King of Swords. I'm getting a Divine Counterpart here. This could have been somebody that you were romantically uh, connected to here. I'm also getting that some of you could have been in a marriage. I'm also getting that this could be family members. Even if it's not like a romantic encounter with this Ten of Pentacles energy, I'm getting family energy here. So this could be some family members, Aquarius, that you had to cut out of your life. I'm also getting with this Page of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles, there's a new beginning with regards to your finances here, a new opportunity with regards to money. I'm getting a lot of stability in your energy. So this anxious energy and stressful energy, depressive energy is coming to an end here. The tower is terrifying that. So your reading starts with the Four of Swords, the Nine of Swords, which are not so good energies, but the Four of Swords is about recovery here. And the Nine of Swords, very stressful, depressive energy, sleepless nights. But that energy is coming to an end here with this tower. And I see you, it's like I'm getting that you're cutting off stuff that is no longer saving you. You're cutting off energies that are no longer saving you with this Queen of Swords energy here. I'm also getting that you're more logical about situations. You're no longer like using your heart space. You're using your, your mind with regards to like situations here. So let's clarify your reading and find out what is happening. What is this Four of Swords for Aquarius? Holy Spirit, my angels, my guides, my ancestors. What is this Four of Swords? And then we have the Two of Swords. There could have been a situation where you felt undecided with regards to something here. With this Two of Swords, you're struggling to make a decision here. So I'm getting that you decided to take a break from something because you couldn't decide what to do. Also note that this could be you or this could be someone that you're dealing with, someone that is heavily in your energy. So if you feel like you're not resonating with the message, it resonates more with your person. So this could be your person. But there's an energy of um, indecision with this Two of Swords, not knowing, not knowing what a decision to make in a situation i'm also getting that this indecision caused a lot of stress and anxiety here this could also have something to do with your finances with this queen of pentacles showing up underneath the nine of swords what is this nine of swords for aquarius and then we have the ace of pentacles you some of you could be worried about money here with this ace of pentacles you could be worried about bills Having sleepless nights with regards to like your finances here, Aquarius. But that energy is coming to an end because we do have this Queen of Pentacles energy here. So there's a lot of stability coming your way. I like that the tower is also here. So the tower is bringing an ending to whatever this stress is here, Aquarius. Something is coming to an end to bring forth something new because your reading ends with this Ten of Pentacles energy here. So I see you coming out of whatever this difficult situation was. You are coming out strong here. You are able to use your mind here. You're stepping into your power here. You are being more logical about decisions. This could have something to do with your work situation or a love situation here. 
So let's find out what is happening. What is this tower for our career? So let's it. My angels, my guys, we have the two of wands. Some of you could be thinking about moving to another place. There's a, there's a sudden change in your energy here. Some of you could be thinking about changing jobs. Some of you could be thinking about uh, just changing your environment in general here. With this two of wands on top of the tower energy here. I'm also getting that someone could be wanting to come towards you and this... This person is coming in unexpectedly, so you will not be, you will not see this person coming in your energy here. Someone could be deciding to come towards you. We also have this King of Swords here underneath. Note that tarot is gender and time fluid, so this could still be something that is coming or something that is happening currently here or something that happened in the past. So take it as it resonates, Aquarius. And then we also have this Page of Swords here. Some of you are learning new skills with this Page of Swords. I'm also getting an energy of someone that could be spying on you, watching you, trying to find out more information with regards to you. What is this Queen of Swords for Aquarius? What is the Queen of Swords for Aquarius? And then we have the Three of Cups. I'm getting an energy of celebration. There could also be a third party in a situation here. What is this Three of Cups energy for Aquarius? And then we have the Queen of Pentacles. So in this in this case, because the Three of Cups usually is about celebration and friendships and everything. It's not really about third parties in the traditional tarot. So the fact that the Queen of Pentacles is here to clarify this Three of Cups, I'm getting a lot of celebration. So your money is looking up here, Aquarius. Some of you are going to be getting a raise. Some of you are going to be getting an unexpected expected income here your finances are really looking up you're going to be celebrating here and this would and this has everything to do with you with this queen of swords energy some of you are dealing with a fellow air signs aquarius libra and gemini what is this page of pentacles for aquarius there's an energy of celebration here there's something new that is coming in your energy some of you are meeting a new person here with this page of pentacles being clarified by the queen of cups so you could be entering a new relationship here, something that is quite emotionally fulfilling. I'm getting an energy of someone that wants to offer you some form of like stability and, um, and emotional support in a situation here. This could still be in the beginning stages here, Aquarius. Take it as it resonates. We also have the two of cups underneath. So I am getting like partnership kind of energy here. So this could be like a romantic partnership or a friendship, but there's someone coming into your energy to offer you something. I'm also getting that someone could be wanting to offer you some money, some help, a helping hand here with this page of pentacles and the queen of cups what is this queen of pentacles for aquarius holy spirit my angels my guys my ancestors and then we have the chariot very amazing energy that i'm picking up from your energy i've been getting this chariot energy if you didn't watch yesterday's reading please go watch it i'll link it also in the description box things are moving on very quickly things are coming into your energy very quickly with this chariot some of you are dealing with cancer energy very powerful changes are happening in your in your life in your financial situation currently at this point the queen of pentacles is being clarified by the chariot so very fast moving energy some of you are going to be getting money very quickly you will not be expecting this here what is this King of Swords for Aquarius? And then we have the Four of Swords. So you're someone in your energy, this King of Swords energy, because we have the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords, I'm getting that this is a separate person. So this is not you. There's somebody in your energy that is also in this Four of Swords energy. Someone is not feeling well. This person could be in a period of recovery. I'm also getting an energy of someone that is just not saying anything at this point because they're still dealing with some things in their life currently here. So this person could just be like, you know, dealing with health problems, but there's something that is happening in this person's energy that is causing this person to currently just hold back and not say anything. What is this Ten of Pentacles for Aquarius, Holy Spirit? And then we have the Nine of Swords, Aquarius. There's a lot of like anxiety and stress. This could have something to do with like family situations here. Yeah. Maybe like a family matter. You could be like, there could be like uh, disagreements about like stability, about money here with, with you and your family members here, yeah, Aquarius. We have the sun, something is being illuminated. Some of you are dealing with Leo energy here. I'm also getting an energy of something that could have to do with children here. Yeah. So children could be involved where there are talks about like money being shared. I'm also getting like legacy inheritance energy here. That could needs to be shared amongst you and your your family here so that could be causing a lot of stress and anxiety here let's um go deep in your reading and find out more information about what is happening now we are looking at the key challenges and opportunities in your life currently what is happening in your energy at this point what are the challenges in aquarius's energy at this point holy spirit my angels my guides my ancestors what are the challenges in aquarius's energy at this point 
And then we have the Queen of Pentacles, Aquarius. You could be struggling with your stability here. The Queen of Pentacles keep on showing up here. So some of you are struggling with your stability. But you remember we did see that tower. So whatever this is, is coming to an end. So you're going to be quite stable. Your finances are going to be fine. Things are going to happen very quickly in your energy. Some money that you're going to be getting, you'll be getting it unexpectedly here. So you're struggling with this stability here. Some of you could be struggling with like a mother figure with this Queen of Pentacles energy here. And then we have the Five of Cups. You could, some of you could still be like um it's like you're thinking about things from the past that you lost here with this five of cups energy you could still be focusing on spilled milk and you see with this two of with this five of cups energy there's still these two cups behind you that you're not able to see here that are still standing so there's a lot of things around you that you're not uh, currently looking at because you're too focused on what you've already lost here with this five of cups so there's a lot of regret in your energy here some of you could have lost money so you could be regretting losing money here or losing someone here losing a relationship so that is the what you're, you're struggling with currently and I'm getting that this kind of energy is the reason why you're struggling to move forward so you need to get rid of whatever this is you're, you're carrying a lot of pain from the past so you need to get rid of this pain Aquarius so you can be able to move on let's get more information and then we have the high priestess I'm also getting that some of you could be struggling to use your intuition the high priestess is Pisces energy here so if you this uh, high priestess is showing up in this um challenging aspect of the re of the reading so you might be struggling to use discernment when dealing with certain situations and certain people here so you're encouraged to use more of your intuition here tell me more holy spirit what is aquarius struggling with at this point what are the challenges in aquarius's energy we have the eight of swords so this is a safe a self-imposed prison you are feeling stuck in something here aquarius and whatever this is it's all imagined you are not stuck so I, I'm also getting an energy of you just holding on to people that you have lost or situations that you have lost in the past and you're still holding on to that pain and that grief. And you, and this is keeping you stuck. It's like you're in prison with this Eight of Swords energy here. So you need to let go of whatever this negative energy is, is here so you can be able to manifest something new in your life. We have the Seven of Pentacles here. So some of you could be working. Some of you could be like, I'm also getting an energy of things could be taking time where you could have made investments on certain things. So there's something that you could be working on currently and it appears to be taking time. So you could be struggling with being patient with regards to whatever this is here. Why is Aquarius struggling with Holy Spirit, my angels, my guides, my ancestors? We have the Knight of Pentacles. So things could be coming in very slowly. The Knight of Pentacles, I know that he gets a lot of slack for being slow and taking his time. But the Knight of Pentacles is very detail-orientated, very stable energy. So whatever this is that you, you think is taking so much time, if you have made an investment or there's something that you are working on, there's some money that you are, you are expecting but you feel like it's taking too much time, it's because it's going to bring in a lot of stability in your life. You don't need to worry. So good things take time, Aquarius. The Knight of Pentacles is very stable, dependable energy. So you don't need to worry about this energy here. Even if it's taking time, it's going to bring in a lot of stability in your energy with regards to your, your material life. Let's get two more. What is challenging in Aquarius's energy? at this point and then we have the eight of pentacles here i'm getting you already too much about finances here and i'm getting that this is a self-imposed prison here we have the queen of pentacles we have the seven of pentacles the knight of pentacles the eight of pentacles all these pentacles here aquarius and you could have lost some money in a situation here and you could still be holding on to that loss and that is keeping you very stuck here you could have also given to people that you were not supposed to give to or this could also be your time because uh, pentacles doesn't have to be money I and mean, feel like we have quality time where you feel like you gave so much of yourself in a situation where, which is a romantic situation or friendships or family situations and you feel like you lost a lot and you're too focused on the loss of everything and this is keeping you stuck you're not able to see anything because of this kind of energy let's get the last card for you aquarius what is challenging in aquarius's energy at this point and then we have the star. The star is your energy, Aquarius. Some of you are struggling to heal from a situation. The star is healing energy here. So the situation that you could be stuck on. I'm also getting that some of you could be dealing with a fellow Aquarius here with the star energy here. There's an energy you could be stuck you're stuck in your mind you're stuck in a in your mind about a person about a situation here and that is the reason why everything just appears to be like it's like you feel like you're in the dark about things because you are struggling to let go of this situation here if this is a person you need to cut off whatever this is because it's no longer saving you and i do understand that things take time healing might take time but i did see that queen of swords so i am getting that you're stepping into your power and whatever this energy is i see you getting rid of these energies here Let's find out what is coming towards you, like any opportunities that are coming towards you at this point. 
let's find out what those opportunities are holy spirit my angels my guides my ancestors what is coming towards aquarius look at the bright side aquarius there's always a bright side to everything i like that the eight of waters the eight of cups actually jumped up right now when i'm shuffling which speaks about like letting go like walking away from things that are no longer serving you so you need to walk away There's some things that you're holding on to that could be keeping you stuck it makes it very difficult to even manifest money if you're holding on to pain or any resentment so you need to let go forgive move on enjoy your life and I promise you, you'll be able to manifest a lot of things with ease. Let's find out, Holy Spirit, my angels, my guys, my ancestors. Any opportunities coming towards Aquarius at this point? We have the Three of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords here. Uh, I like that the Ten of Swords here says, The end of a difficult situation. Embrace the change and ex expect things to, be, to get better now. Recovering from an addiction as well. Some of you could be recovering from addictions here. Tens are also about ending, completion. So there's a, a difficult situation here that is coming to an end. This could have something to do with your finances. Again, the pentacles are here. We have the three of pentacles. So there's a work situation that you could be struggling with or you could be struggling with your stability just in general here. But I'm getting, you're getting recognition for, the, for all the hard work that you have put into a, into a project here. With this three of pentacles i'm also getting some of you could be you could the money you, you want to make money but then it might require you to work with other people be a team player here with this three of pentacles so you might be required to collaborate with other people a man, a, a man is not an island whatever it is that you've been going through is coming to an end with this ten of swords the ending of a difficult situation that is the message that is uh, written on the card so let's get more what is coming towards aquarius energy go spirit my angels my guys and then we have the king of water, the king of cups energy. Some of you are going to be meeting someone that is very emotionally available, trustworthy, compassionate. Very someone that is you are going to fall in love. So if you've already met this person, you're with you're in love with somebody that is very loving. You're you're very you are very safe at this point, Aquarius. So this is somebody that is coming into your energy here. That is a very loving. So if you feel like you've been struggling, maybe you've been meeting people, narcissistic energies that are draining you and you feel like you're not really getting the love that you deserve. I'm getting that you'll soon be, you'll soon be meeting the person that you've been waiting for with this king of cups energy here. Some, this is a word you're going to, some of you could be meeting water sign energy, cancer, Pisces and Scorpio with this king of cups energy, the king of water. You must just keep an open mind. And then we have this, uh, the wheel, the wheel of fortune energy, a time of positive change a situation suddenly moves forward fortune is on your side so this is very beautiful energy aquarius a time for positive change a situation suddenly moves forward and fortune is on your side so take it as it resonates we also have the ten of ones again so this is also about completion tens are about completion some of you could have been feel like you're carrying a lot of burdens you could have a lot of responsibilities as well with regards to your work or your finances i see you dropping those burdens aquarius and things are getting better you might need to delegate you might need to work with other people so it can make it easier for you to do what you love because with this ten of ones energy it gives me that energy of someone that works too much you might have a lot of responsibilities and you might feel like you're alone in a situation here but i see you meeting you you i see you working with a team and i feel like that is going to bring in a lot of success your way here with this wheel of fortune energy there's a lot of positive changes around your energy at this point and then we have the seven of cups a complex decision the need to do research and stop procrastinating uh the seven of cups energy give me that energy of illusions so, so some of you could you could you could be with people that are selling you dreams things are not as they appear sometimes what glitter is not always gold that is the seven of cups energy that i'm picking up here so if you're feeling if you're feeling confused about a person or a situation Take your time, use your intuition here because something is still not, it's, it's not as it appears here. So you should, you don't make the wrong choice in this situation here. Take your time. And then we have the eight of pentacles here. Skilled work is rewarded. Some of you are going to be perfecting your skills and this is going to bring in a lot of finances, a lot of stability your way. Some of you are going to be going back to school. So you could be thinking about studying, taking on an extra course something that will uh, make you a better candidate candidate when it comes to like job applications and everything like that so you might need to like you know enhance your skills go back to school learn something new even if it doesn't mean like you going back to college you might need to take a course online you know there's a lot of like information that is readily available for everyone currently and i feel like this is going to bring in a lot of stability in your energy let's get one last card for aquarius Okay, we have two, we have two cards. 
so I'll take them. We have the Hermit. Some of you are dealing with Virgo energy and we have Release, which is Death. Some of you are dealing with Scorpio energy. And this is the last card that I'm picking up here, this Death energy here. The end of a phase or a situation, a spiritual transformation, time to move on. You're going through a very major, major transformation. There's uh, quite a few major arcanas here in your reading. Some of you are dealing with Virgo energy and Scorpio energy. With this Hermit, spend time in quiet meditation. Like, you know, use your intuition, introspect, everything that you self-discovery everything that you want is inside of yourself so you this you might need a time for you to just be alone and go inside of yourself and find this answers that you need because there's a lot of uh transformation right now in your energy here you're going through a transformation major major transformation so i do understand why this four of swords energy was coming up Th there's something that you're recovering from so you could have been in a relationship that was very emotionally draining you could have been in a relationship where you felt like you were not you were not um you were not given as much as you were receiving you were not uh, given as much as you were giving in the situation that i'm picking up here you could have been in love with like a vampire an energy vampire so you need to recover from that as soon as you recover from that you'll be able to meet someone that matches your energy in terms of like your emotions someone that actually nurtures you as much as you nurture the situation yourself okay aquarius let's get messages from the universe let's get messages from your higher self from the universe from the other side from your spirit team your spirit guides Let's get messages for you. Any advice, any guidance. Holy Spirit, my angels, my guides, my ancestors. Any messages, any advice for Aquarius. And then we have the time is right. Seize the day and make progress on your soul path. The time is right. Seize the day and make progress on your soul path. The numbers 11 could be significant for some of you here. And then we have flames of desire. Let them shine out in radiant light and shun dark parts. The number 17 could also be significant. I'm getting you meeting someone that you're very attracted to. There's a lot of attraction here with this flames of desire energy that I'm picking up here. Some of you could be like meeting as fire signs, like, you know, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Some of you could be falling in love with like a fire sign here. Let's get one last card. To conform is to die inside. Be brave and be yourself. To conform is to die inside. Be brave and be yourself. Success and happiness are coming. Enjoy and celebrate life. So this is the last card. So you don't need to worry about anything. I feel like you're, I'm getting that you're going through an energy of transformation, which is very beautiful. It's very uncomfortable and painful at times to go through that energy of transformation. Trust me, I know that for a fact. However, after you transform, you become the greatest version of yourself and you start attracting people that are more aligned with your journey. You'll become more happier. So it's necessary. If you feel like you need to be cutting off energies that are no longer serving you, that's exactly what you need to do so you can get yourself in a space of harmony where you're more aligned with who you are. Holy Spirit, my angels, my guides, my ancestors. What are the what is the message for our careers today? Any advice? And then we have the broken arrow. Embrace the energy of peace. Embrace the energy of peace. Now I'm going to get some guidance from the monology deck for you, Aquarius. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm giving away one personal reading. So as soon as I, every month, I'll be giving away one personal reading. Month end of July, I'll, I'll announce the winner of that personal reading. Just leave a comment on the, on, on any video that you like. Just leave a comment. Yeah, preferably the, the recent videos. Leave a comment and I'm, you might get selected to get a personal reading where I do a whole hour of your reading, answering all the questions that you might have. Holy Spirit, my angels, my guides, my ancestors. And then we have first quarter moon in Cancer. Push through the insecurities. Some of you are dealing with Cancer energy. We have first quarter moon in Scorpio. Release your blocks. Some of you are dealing with Scorpio energy here. Let's get one last card. New moon in, Gen in Gemini. Think through it. I think I should end your reading here. Aquarius, we are done with your reading. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you, Aquarius. I love you. Love and light to you. Bye.